everybody. My name is Scott. I'm an amateur radio operator and my call is KD4SIR. Today we'll be talking about antenna access from the shack. What you see here is what's commonly known as a window pass-through. Uh, it's a place where amateurs can get coax and other antenna wire through a window. And basically what you do is you have a board that goes underneath the window sill and is shut onto that board and you pass all your wires through it disadvantages of it is that it's kind of ugly. Everybody can see it when they look at the window. And the window's open. So I've never really cared for this. I never really liked it. I'm a big fan of the YouTube channel W5CYF Tinker John. He had a coax cable window pass-through project that was really cool. Uh, he did a really good job on it. He got new windows and had decided he was going to go through the brick wall. He has a video about how he went about that. He has a video also on how to get your wife to approve of such a project, and he shows you how he did it. I spent my first 10, maybe 15 years doing UHF, VHF work, uh, mainly handhelds and some mobile operating. Here's a picture of me on my first HF station. So I love going to field day because I got to operate HF radios. So one field day in South Bend, Indiana, I met Brian, K8VO, Kilo 8 Victor Oscar. He helped me, well, he just kind of helped me along with HF, and he found this deal in this ICOM 756. He also helped me put up a sky loop. So a sky loop is a loop that is fed by a 450 ohm ladder line. This is a picture of my fat butt getting off the roof and putting up an 80 meter sky loop with Brian. And so I'm really proud here. This is my first HF station. So when we moved in our next house, we had a closed-in porch. And we decided to close it in and make our own room for my radio room. I had the contractor put a hole through the wall with a PVC pipe. And I was able to get access outside. And it was wonderful. But this new house is brick. And so I remember W5CYF having a video about his brick wall. And I decided to give it a shot. So I was talking to my buddy Tom, KC9UGC, Kilo Charlie 9, Uniform Golf Charlie. Did a lot of contracting and things. He's a mechanic and genius of all sorts. I was talking to him about needing a pastor and cutting this hole. And uh, he had told me beforehand that I should go from the inside and work my way out. Uh, instead, I ignored him and started drilling on the outside. So I was trying to drill this hole through this brick here. And he gives me a call about halfway through, frustrated because I don't have the right kind of drill, the right kind of drill bit. Anyway, he gives me a call. He tell, I tell him what I'm doing, and he's like, hey, I told you from go from the inside. I'm like, hey, I'm almost halfway through this brick. No worries, right? Anyway, my wife finds out what we were talking about. And my wife is also an amateur radio operator. KC9EOU, Kilo Charlie 9, Echo Oscar Uniform. And she's Miss... Bob Vila or something. She's she's like she's like this Jill of all trades. She's trying to help me out. Well, she's basically trying to keep me from ruining our house. Anyway, so she she says, "Hey, that's a great idea." And Tom tells me the reason why you go from the inside is so that you don't go through the webbing of the concrete block. Because he had said, hey, what's it made of? And I said, it's concrete block on the inside. And he's like, yeah, you got concrete block, and then you have this brick wall. I didn't know that. When my wife, the Jill of all trades, Miss Bob Vila, so she cuts this hole for me. And, of course, I can see what he's talking about, this webbing here. That black line would be where the webbing is of that concrete block. So I took this string and we worked it around to that window and then back around and tried to figure out where we were on the brick wall and where we would end up. And we drew the hole and we started drilling from the inside out. So we did that and then we drilled the rest of the brick because we figured it's within a couple inches. So we drilled through the rest of the brick and it turns out that the holes lined up halfway. You see half the hole from either side, which was perfect. That's perfect in my world anyway. So then all I had to do was uh, build the box that goes to the outside. So you see here three coax connections and two places for ladder line, as well as one stud for ground. I also built the inside plate, which has the exact same things. Um, 
obviously. And then I put the box on the outside of the wall. Oh, the we were barely getting through the brick because I didn't have the right drill. My brother gave me let me borrow his drill, and man, it started going through like butter. We were having such a hard time with the brick because we didn't have the right drill. You have to have like an impact type drill and you need a masonry bit that has the diamonds on the end or some sort. Anyway, get with some people who know what they're doing and get this hole built on your wall. Um, so I ran, these are the cables that came through on the wall. So I gave myself some room to work so if I ever pull the outside or inside plates off, I could uh, have access to the wire. So that was a little hard to shove them back in with the holes not being aligned. But from here we just had to mud the wall and repaint. Well, when I say we, I mean my wife. Well, I helped. A little.